Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial we are going to add MiriLoid to our project. So why we need to use MiriLoid in our project? The thing is, let me just show you. Here you can see currently I am in the admin dashboard. So let me just log out from here. And let me just log in as a user. So we are going to show our here user at that of gmail.com and give the user password over here. Then click login. And there you go. We are currently logged in as a user there you can see so right now let's just go to our web.php and here you can see poro request now this url is for the admin so only admin should access to this page but let me just copy this and let's go to our browser and here if we just say this slash borrow request and here you can see a user is logged in so right now if i just press enter it will show the user the borrow request over here even though this is a user not a admin so if we use middleware we can stop the user having access to the admin dashboard or any admin pages so right now we let's go and create a middleware so for it uh, let's go to back to our project and here let's go and open a command prompt let me just zoom in over here so in order to create middleware we need to run this command which is php artisan make clone middleware and we need to give a middleware name let's say the middleware name will be admin so we we'll say over here admin and normally we give the middleware with a capital letter so right now if we press enter there you can see it created a middleware so right now if we just go back to our code and if we just go to the app and inside app there you can see http and inside http there you can see we have a middleware folder if you go inside middleware there you can see admin.php so this is the middleware that was created so first of all, what we need to do is that we need to register this admin.php in the kernel.php. So if we just go inside the HTTP, here you can see kernel.php. So let's go inside kernel.php and we'll just directly go down. And here you can see verified class. So uh, we'll write this for here you can see dollar middleware aliases. So what we'll do is that after this, we're going to say over here, we need to declare a variable let's say it will be admin you can name it anything but but we'll name it admin because that make more sense then we'll give this equal and arrow sign after that we need to give this backslash then we need to say over here app backslash http backslash middle wire then backslash we need to say over here admin double clone class then give a comma over here so what we are doing over here is that we are measuring the app, then HTTP, then middleware, then admin.php. Then we are saying this is a class. So right now let's go to our middleware, which is admin.php. So let's go to middleware, then admin.php. And over here, we're going to write a if condition to check the user type. So here we're going to say over here, if to first bracket, we say here auth double clone we saw what had user to first bracket this arrow sign we are going to show our head user type then we saw what had equal equal if the user type is admin only then we we'll let the user have access to the admin page so here if we just go to the user table here you can see our user type is uh, user and admin so only for the user type admin will let the certain user have access to this page so for it uh, let me just keep to second bracket and here you can see return next dollar request uh, we are going to cut this and we are going to paste it over here return next dollar request so here what we are doing is in this if condition we are checking the user type if the user type is admin it means the request is fine show them whatever page they want to see but if the user type is not admin then we'll go to the else condition you can say over here else or if you do not write else that's fine as well so we'll just send the user back to the same page so we saw over here return redirect 
it and redirect this arrow sign back so right now here you can see that a user is logged in and they are able to see this page uh, board underscore request which is and pin page so right now what we need to do is that we will go to our web.php and here we are going to give this arrow sign then we saw one here middle or to first bracket to third bracket and inside it first of all we need to show our here off if the user is logged in then we'll check the middle or and here in the kernel.php we write over here and bin and this admin we're going to write this over here okay admin so whenever if someone go to this url it will first check the auth if the user is logged in then it will check the middle layer if the user type is admin if the user type is admin then the request is fine go ahead but if the user type is not admin then it will keep the user in the same place so we write uh, this middle layer for this poor underscore request so right now if we just refresh over here okay middle layer auth not found the reason is let me just go back and we need to go to our uh, admin.php and here we need to write a line at the top so let me just go to the uh, controller then admin controller and on the top i'm going to copy this line use illuminate backslash support backslash packet backslash auth and i'm going to paste it over here let's save it and let's just refresh over here okay the page isn't working okay too many redirects the reason is okay let's just go to the admin.php and here uh instead of return redirect back we're going to show over here return redirect to the uh root view so let's save it then right now if we refresh there you can see it took back the user to the root view so right now uh, if we just try to have access to this view again uh board underscore request if you try to access this view if you just write over here uh, slash border request and press enter there you can see it did not take us to that view but if we just log out and log in as an admin we will be able to have access to that page so let's keep the admin email admin password over here then click login and there you can see we are currently logged in as an admin and right now if we just change the url to slash borrow request and press enter there you can see the admin can have access to this page so what we right now need to do is that we need to add this middleware for each route so for example let me just copy this and uh, let's say we'll add it for this route here you can see show underscore pool if we just add it for this route as well save it and refresh over here and if we now give the url show underscore book the admin will be able to see the base because this is admin but if we just log out and log in as a user let's just log in as different user let's say over here user2 at the top gmail.com let's give the password over here and let's try to go to that base show underscore book and press enter there you can see it took back the user to the root view because in the uh, middle layer we said over here return redirect to the root view so this is how you can add middle layer in your project so wherever we have the admin controller i mean wherever uh, we are showing some data that should only have access to the admin then uh, we need to add the middle layer but we'll uh, add the middle layer for other admin controller later so for now uh, i just wanted to show you how you can use middleware in laravel i hope you learned something new if you have any question or any problem just let me in the comment section make sure to subscribe and really appreciate that and i hope to see you in the future tutorials